Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to install Windows 10 ARM instead of Windows 11 ARM on Parallels. So there isn't a huge amount of reason to do this because Windows 11 ARM is the natural evolution and the next stage of Windows 10 ARM, but a lot of people have been asking to install Windows 10 ARM instead, so I want to show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to the website uupdump.net and I'll leave a link to this in the description. And this is a place where you can basically download various Windows builds, including the ARM builds of Windows. And we have a historical record of these and these all come from the Microsoft servers. So you can actually find most builds combined with all the updates that you want. So the thing to do is to go into the actual search bar here and we type in Windows 10 ARM. And then basically what we can do is find the very last release of Windows 10 Insider Preview. This one is from mid June, 2021, which corresponds, I believe, to the very last version of this uh, ARM64 build of Windows 10 before it all became Windows 11. So what we're gonna do is to click on this particular build here. I think I will actually link this in the description as well directly so you can do it without having to do that search. And then here I'm going to select the English language and then click next. And here I'm going to select both editions and click next here. And then we're gonna select download and convert to ISO and then we're gonna include the updates too. So I'm gonna create this download package now and this is going to download as a zip file. So once we've extracted that zip file, we're gonna double click on that here, and then we have the macOS.sh, which we're gonna use next. So one thing we might need to do is to install this dependency, which is Homebrew. So I'm gonna leave a link to this website in the description, but all you need to do is to visit here and we'll get the commands ready for you. So the second thing we need to do is open terminal window. So I'm gonna click on the top right hand corner of the screen in Spotlight and then type in the word terminal. And I'm gonna put this on the right hand side of the screen and make this text a bit larger. And when we're on the Homebrew website, we basically want to copy this command line here. So I'm gonna click the copy button here, which will copy that line. Then I'm gonna go into my terminal and press command V, and I'm going to press enter here to enter this command, to enter this command. I've typed in my password. Um, the password for terminals won't appear correctly, but if you type it in fully and press enter, then it's going to continue the script. Here it's asking us to confirm and we're just gonna press return. And then it's going to start this installation process of Homebrew. So this may take a bit of time, so just let this run and just let, uh, so this might take a little bit of time, so just let it run. It depends on the speed of your internet connection. It's gonna download thousands of small files so that brew is installed. Once that's done, you once that's done, this took about 60 seconds for me. All we need to do is to run this. All we need to do is to run this final command. I'm gonna select this and press Command C. You can also highlight it and then press Control and Copy if you wanted to, and then I'm going to paste this into my next command. So I'm gonna press return here, and then that has set the path. That's quite important because if you want to brew and you don't have that path set, then you're gonna get an error message. Next, we might need to install some other dependencies. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description, but it's basically brew install ARIA2 and cab extract, which will help to extract the files which we download to make the ISO. So that once we've installed Brew, this is going to automatically install ARIA2 and Cab Extract, which are kind of essential for creating the ISO file at the end of the script. So what we're gonna do is to make sure that the path bar is open here. So we have the path bar showing, and then what we're gonna do in terminal is press CD, and then we're going to drag the folder over to here and press enter. And if I type in LS, then I've got all the files here. So I'm gonna type in the command chmod space plus x uup underscore download underscore macos.sh and then execute that. And then what we're gonna do next is to execute the file now that we've chmodded it and then drag this, drag the uup underscore download underscore macos.sh and then press enter. So you can see here the uups will start downloading all of the files that we need here. So once the process is, is complete, then you'll find that the ISO file will be found in the folder that we ran the script in. So all we need to do is to open up Parallels Control Center. And then what we can do is now add a new virtual machine. So I'm gonna press continue here. And I'm gonna create a new virtual machine from ISO file. And it's already, 
And this has already detected that we have this ISO listed in this folder here, but you can also choose that manually too, but I'm gonna press continue here. Here it's allowing us to select the Windows edition. It's giving us blank spaces at the moment, but I think the second one should be the Pro edition. I'm gonna press done. I'm gonna do a gaming virtual machine and press continue and press create. Here we can see a setup file actually installing. So now the installation is complete. We have a fully working version of Windows 10. So if you do want to stick to Windows 10, what I would advise you to do is just pause all the updates because if you're on a dev build, for example, then you're going to be upgraded automatically to Windows 11. So this is the 21390 build of Windows 10 ARM. And this is how you select a specific version of Windows 10 ARM to be installed on Parallels on an M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.